Basically what I'm doing out here is I'm utilizing the tide. My tide is going from my left to my right. So I'm casting perpendicular, very much like I would a stream for a freshwater trout. Lure is hitting and tide is sweeping it. We're drawing up from this, on top of these grass, on top of these grass beds, and it's dropping off into these troughs. And these trout, they'll lay in the, lay in the troughs, they'll come up on the grass beds, do cruising around through these potholes, drop back in, and they're just constantly cruising around looking for bait and such and we're just trying to make it very easy for them to eat by just letting that bait just sweep and all they got to do is just suck it in. I'll give it a little short snap but the bottom line is you've got to let the bait just let it do its thing. You don't need to work it to death. I'll twitch it but right now I can literally hold this lure in this current and hardly move it at all and it'll suspend. I notice I'm going to keep my rod tip very low to the water and the reason why is because if I raise my rod tip up real high that means I'm going to have a big belly in my line and if I get my strike there's a good chance I'm going to miss the hook set. If I got my rod tip low I got more contact with my lure and more direct line to my lure therefore I've got a much better chance of really being able to stick the fish well. I really want to utilize that tide to let the tide do the work for me. If the bait's directly down tide the fish are looking up toward me and if I'm bringing it back this way, he's looking this way and it's coming up his rear end and shrimp do not climb up five, 10 pound trout's backs. And so you want it to go from up tide to down tide the way he's looking and expecting the bait to come. 